5,000 participants from 16 allied and European partner nations arrive at Hohenville's training area for exercise Sabre Junction 16. Before training begins, they need their multiple integrated laser engagement system, or MILES. This equipment is installed on everything from vehicles to weapons and also worn by the service members. Sergeant First Class Davis, the Miles Warehouse non-commissioned officer in charge, says the system operates a lot like an advanced version of laser tag. When they go out there and they engage, uh, there's a whoopee light and it, and it goes off. If it's on a personnel, it'll make a noise. So it simulates you shooting um, the laser. When, when you shoot the laser, it is, it's actually simulating you shooting a real live round. The Army introduced the equipment in 1980, and through technical advances and upgrades, the Miles gear remains relevant today. It makes it much more realistic. I mean, you can see when you hit someone and also know when somebody else hits you, so it gives you a better idea of what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Norm Wimpy, the Maneuver Training Analysis and Feedback Supervisor at the Joint Multinational Readiness Center, oversees four teams of analysts who use the Miles gear to track service members and their tactical vehicles. So we can see where the individuals are, but most of the vehicles we can track. We, also, we can track their location, we can track their battle status, we can see when they're shooting and who they're shooting at. Reporting from Hohenfeld's training area, I'm Specialist Christian Higgins.